Hi creative friends, it's Elizabeth Sampson, the Doodle Nurse, and this week we are going to do a doodle journal flip through. So stick around to the end so you can see all the letters A through Z. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. As we flip through our book, you will see that I will uh, put up the coffee mugs associated with the letters A through Z. And in the description below, you will be able to purchase those coffee mugs. Each of these coffee mugs can be personalized with your name. There are so many health benefits related to doodling. And the best way to start doodling is to use the alphabet. So as I go through letters A through Z, you will see a repetition in some patterns, but you will also see that each letter looks unique. So I am interested in knowing if you like to doodle yourself or if you just like to watch the process of doodling. If this is relaxing to you, let me know that in the description box below, or if this is something that you do as a process to unwind and relax on your own, I'd like to know that. Let me know in the comment section. As I said before, there are many health benefits related to doodling or that you can achieve by doodling. One of those is lowering your blood pressure, uh, reduces stress, and you'll be surprised to know that it unlocks new creative and intellectual pathways. And of course, it also helps you fall asleep. Now we are turning to the letter E which is, of course, the beginning of Elizabeth. So this is the mug that you see I have all the time on my videos, E. And I've personalized it with my name, Elizabeth. And when you're personalizing these mugs, you can use the fonts uh, that they have so you can change them up. And you'll see further on, I will show you that. Comment below and let me know what doodle shapes you like the best when you're going through this alphabet with me. This one you'll see letter G, there's a giraffe, there's a little worm, uh, inchworm along the bottom, caterpillar, whatever you want to call it. Who knows? It was made in my imagination, <laughs> um, which is one of the nice things about doodling because it unlocks your imagination and it helps focus, helps you focus and concentrate on tasks at hand. It's a great meditative process. Say, I always say there's no wrong, there's no right. And on some of these you'll see I've pointed out an area on the H that started out um, bad, but I created it into something that was pleasing in the end. So there is no wrong and there is no right when you create these doodles or these letters. It's a personal preference for you. So the next letter is J coming up here and you will see there is a happy customer that has the coffee mug with the letter J and um, it's adorned with her name, Joellen. And you can see the different type of fonts you can use when you cre create yours. I'm pointing out the chain that goes through the letter J. I just happen to like that. That's really pleasing to my eye. You can also see on the letter K that same chain in a different way. So that's what makes these unique. So guys, if you like what you see, make sure that you comment below in the description box. Let me know what you like. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. On new mo Every Monday I put up a new video for you to see. Next week we're going to be going through the botanical series. So uh, that'll be interesting. Um, I'll put the coffee mugs up again next to the botanical series so you can see what they look like. 
as I'm pointing out, there's a lot of Zen tegels in some of these, um, which is another video on this channel I'll put up in the card section above for you to see how to create a Zen tangles. What is your favorite letter so far? Please write it down in the comments. Let me know if it's the letter that begins your name or one that is just appealing to you. I'd like to know what creatively strikes you. So far, I love all these letters, <laughs> but the next letter is Q, and that is for a queen. And every queen needs a crown, and you'll notice that is another one of the things that I do a lot is put crowns on a lot of these letters. And here's the coffee mug that has the word queen personalized on it. So you can see it has a different type of font than the one on my Elizabeth mug. If you would like to go back and individually watch each of these letters being created, I'll have a card up in the corner of this video showing you the playlist that you can watch with all these letters, these doodle letters being created. Here comes the letter S with her crown. The design on this is rather simple, but I think it's very effective and very pretty. Most of this alphabet has a whimsical nature to it, so letter T, of course, has a face of a sun appearing out from the top of it, and that's the whimsical nature of this letter. Letter U has more Zen tangles on the bottom, so I will again link a card up in the top right so you can see how to create those for yourself. Next up is the letter V. And we have another happy customer with the letter V. It was bought for her daughter's graduation and her name is Vanessa. As you notice, this mug looks a little different with the black inside. And uh, there are seven different beverage containers that you can personalize with these letters. Letter W is sectioned off with different patterns around the letter. If there's anything that you see that you like that you'd want to me to teach you how to do, I will have another video. Just put it in the comment section below. This alphabet's almost complete. Coming up with the letter X, you will see there are also different patterns on this letter. There are clouds, leaves, circles, and swirls. Next is the letter Y. This letter looks unique, very unique and different, different patterns throughout it. You can see I have a ribbon section. I will zoom in so you can see the butterfly that is up in the corner. And, and uh, along the bottom you'll see ribbon with the circles in it right there. It's, I thought that was a lot of fun to create. And last but not least, it's the letter Z of the Doodle Alphabet. And I think this turned out really great. Uh, even though half the page is black and the other half has pattern on it, it really looks stunning, especially on the coffee mug. And from a request I received, it's the at symbol. Somebody wanted to see that created, so that is what I did here. If there, is, if there is something special that you'd like to see, by all means put it in the comment section below and I will do my best to get that video out for you. So thank you guys for coming and watching the Doodle Journal thrip, Flip Through. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Every Monday there is a new upload and you never know, it might be something that you asked to see.